library, we recognize ourselves as a center of intercultural learning. And what we are trying to do is identify gaps in the cultural sector as well as the education sector here in Ireland. One of them being understanding Islam and Irish education, which includes the cultural aspect of Islam. So by identifying the gaps from the seminar today, we hope to create resources for teachers by using the collections from the Islamic uh, collection of the library and assist teachers and educators in their teaching practice in the classroom as, a, as well as in their lifelong learning uh, initiatives. It was founded in 2005. The headquarters is in Egypt. Um, there are 43 countries involved and about 3,000 member organizations. Education is important because it affects, in actual fact, it molds our identity. So education is not just about some kind of abstract uh, discursive knowledge, it's also about the formation of the self. So it has to do with inner transformations, inner change, inner growth, and inner closeness towards God's uh, likeness. Islamic education in the context of understanding how Islam views human beings, uh, what are human beings about in relationship to God, and what are they called to become like in relationship to God. Uh, so it's not just learning about certain basic things on, on doctrines and, and practices, it's more about how does one become a Muslim through education. We are living in a more and more secular context where the assumption is that there is no meaning to a secular neutral space um, is kind of the default position, if you like, among a lot of people. And in, in that context, it's very difficult to implement that vision in schools. Uh, but yet, the, I hope that there's still some possibility for people to be allowed to share that vision, uh, to know that just as people are um, called to be true Catholics and good Catholics, uh, not just by the fact of going to Mass on Sunday, but also by the way they live their daily lives and they think about God and they form their behavior and their uh, routine on a daily basis. Uh, something similar is going on in the formation of a Muslim child. Three key points. The first one was to introduce the idea of Islam and Muslim communities and to point out that there are many Muslim communities in Ireland and elsewhere. There's no one community. And just like the Catholic community, they are very varied in background. So there are different cultural, ethnic, linguistic and social class dimensions to, the, to Muslim communities. The second key point that I wanted to raise during that presentation is for um, young teachers, would-be teachers, practitioners working in Ireland to have a general understanding of Islam as with other religions because of the changing nature of migration to Ireland. Uh, immigration will be a fact now in all countries in the West and it's important that professionals, if we're educating professionals for the 21st century living, that they're well informed about different uh, ethnic and religious groups. And finally, the third thing I wanted the um, participants to take away with them is that there is no such thing as a Muslim child or a Muslim student or a Muslim co-worker. They're all individuals in their own right. They're of the religious faith that's Islamic. But we need to be careful we don't categorise uh, whole sections of people, and particularly children. I've worked in uh, England, Bermuda, Australia, Ireland, and uh, Canada, they're all very multicultural. As a professional working in a multicultural setting and as a non-Muslim, I found that I needed to know more about this work. Interestingly, I found that very little has been written about, for example, the educational needs of Muslim children. And so I started to write in this area. Um, and there's this wonderful statement, the more you learn, the less you know. And so basically, it's, I've been enlightening and hopefully updating my own knowledge about what you might call race relations in the classroom. 
which I speak to teacher groups across the United States and in Canada. This is my first foray overseas. And um, the organization has a wide range of activities, scholarly conferences and interviews, uh, people who come through film showings and all sorts of things. Just in a, a quick overview, um, it, was, it was about the changing public perceptions of Islam and how educators can change those perceptions. Uh, placing Islam in its world historical context was a very important part of it, kind of a whirlwind tour through, through history. Um, describing the intense cultural interactions between Islam and Muslims. It wasn't two fronts in a war or constant conflict, but more it was, it was characterized by uh, intense interactions in the arts, in sciences, in literature, in so many areas that people don't know about. Most importantly though, I think I'm trying to give the message also by describing certain key core ideas in Islam um, that go to the very heart of Islam, that what we should be doing in teaching about religions is not just learning um, their beliefs and practices, in other words, what makes us different and what uh, quaint ceremonies we have and various other practices, or focusing just on identity. What we need to teach also is to go to the very root and heart of our common values, things that we hold in common across the religions, and these are the things that will enable us to work together to solve global problems. We have enough problems to solve as human beings without uh, dividing ourselves up into groups that can't talk to one another or don't think we can. I mean, it's, the sky's the limit. Uh, we have enough human challenges out there that we need to begin working right away. And mass education, of course, is an opportunity for future voters, future citizens, future business people, uh, and so on, to, to really have a chance to learn perhaps the only time they'll have in their lives. So today was a very inspiring day because we identified the existing practice of learning, both in teaching practice and teaching tra teacher training in, in Mary Macklet College, but also as a group of Annalyn Network members in Ireland uh, through today's seminar. Mm -hmm.